Hey everyone, this is CLS All-in-One. And recently I ran into issues with my DaVinci 1.0 3D printer not heating up. The bed would heat up fine, but the extruder would not. But I found an easy fix, and I'll show you what I did. All right, here's a look at my DaVinci 3D printer. And if we open the top, that gives us access to where the extruder is located. So right here is the extruder. And what the issue is, is this connection right here. This connection keeps losing contact, causing that extruder to not heat up. And to disconnect this connection, I did have to cut off a zip tie, kind of like this one right here. But after cutting the zip tie, I was able to push a tab down on that right side of the connection to disconnect it. After disconnecting it, you'll notice that there's two small pins on this side of the connection. Right there where the two red dots are, there's two small pins. And what I did is I put a very small amount of conductive grease on these two pins. And if you use conductive grease like I did, you want to make sure to use a very small amount because it is conductive and you want to make sure those two pins are not making contact with each other. And inside the connection, there is a small plastic wall that does separate the two pins. So that does make it a little bit easier to keep that grease separated. And if you don't want to use conductive grease, you can just cut the wires on both sides and solder them together. But doing it this way was a lot easier and it won't void my warranty. And for the conductive grease, I used Arctic Silver 5, but you don't have to use this brand. Any brand of conductive grease should work. You just need a very small amount of it. So this comes with its own applicator that has a small tip on it. So that's gonna make it a lot easier to apply. So I'm gonna stick it inside the connection and carefully put a small amount on both pins. If you don't have an applicator like this, you can use a pick or a toothpick to just apply a small amount to the pins like this. And once I'm done applying, I just need to snap my connection back together and go ahead and power it up and test it. And as you can see here, the extruder is heating up just fine. It worked. Well, it looks like I'm done. Hopefully, if you have a problem with your extruder and it's not heating up, this fixes it for you. Let me know how it works out. Leave me some comments down below. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. If you liked that video, please click that like button. If you want to hear more from me, please subscribe. And if you want to see more of my videos, just click any of these links.